Father, we thank you today. Holy Spirit, we honor you. We celebrate your faithfulness. We celebrate your love, your ever-abiding presence. Even in this place, you are here, Lord. Thank you for your grace. Thank you for your anointing and giving us the ability to hear your word, understand it, and for this word to work in our lives. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed and everybody shout, Amen. Amen. A louder Amen, please. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Tell somebody, I know who I am. It's a privilege to be here today bringing the word of the Lord that is able to change our lives forever. The Bible says nothing was made that was made without the word of God. God upholds all things by the word of his power. When he said, let there be, there was. It is the same way today that is going to be declared and what God says is what will happen in the lives of his people. It is most important to understand who God is what God is about, and how God operates. Praise the Lord. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. I want to talk today on a simple message of what it means to be born again. Yeah. What it means to be born again. And I want us to turn our Bibles to the book of Acts chapter number 8. Acts chapter number 8 from verse 26. We'll read all the way down. Acts chapter number 8 from the 26th verse praise the lord the book of acts chapter number eight from the 26th verse it says and the angel of the lord spoke unto philip saying arise and go toward the south unto the way that goeth down from jerusalem unto gaza which is in the desert and he arose and went, and behold, a man of Ethiopia, an eunuch of great authority under Candace, queen of Ethiopians, who had the charge of all her treasure, and had come to Jerusalem for to worship. This man was returning and sitting in his chariot, reading the book of Isaiah the prophet. Then the spirit said unto Philip, Go near and join yourself to this chariot. Philip ran hither to, or thither to him, and heard him read the prophet Isaiah, and said, understandest thou what thou readest do you understand what you are reading and the man said how can i except some men should guide me and he desired philip that he would come up and sit with him the place of the scripture which he read was this he was led as a sheep to the slaughter and like a lamb dumped before his shearer so opened he not his mouth in his humiliation his judgment was taken away and who shall declare his generation for his life is taken from the earth and the eunuch answered philip and said i pray you of whom speaketh the prophet this of himself or of some other men then philip opened his mouth and began to began at the same scripture and preached unto him Jesus. And as they went on their way, they came unto a certain water. And the eunuch said, See, here is the water. What hinders me to be baptized? And Philip said, If thou believest with all your heart, you can. And he answered and said, I believe that Jesus Christ is the Son of God. And he commanded the chariot to stand still, and they went down into the water, and both Philip and the eunuch, and he baptized him. Wonderful. I want that verse 30. After the man was with Philip and Philip asked him, he said, do you understand what you are reading in verse 30? He said, do you understand what you are reading? Most important, hear this. This man was coming from a religious festival. He was coming from church. He was reading the Bible. Like many people read their Bible. They believe it's a book from God. They believe it's a book that contains the things that God is saying. And while they are reading this book, it's most amazing how many people don't understand what they are reading. My question today to a viewer at home is this. Do you understand the Bible that you read every day? Do you understand the things that you hear from church? The level of your understanding determines how far your life will go. Do you understand what you are reading? Psalm 119 and verse 144. He said, give me understanding and I shall live. Give me one thing. He said, give me understanding. Psalm 119 verse 144. Give me understanding and I shall live. Give me understanding. 
Whatever you don't understand, you cannot be upgraded from. When you are at school, you are doing standard one, standard two, standard three. You are going all the way to standard seven. They give you an examination, a test. When they give you this test, what are they expecting? To check your understanding. If your understanding is below their standard, they say repeat. What you don't understand is the proof of what you are not ready for. What you understand is the proof of what you are ready for. Do you understand what you are reading, man? You have been going to this festival. Do you understand what you are doing? He said, give me understanding and I shall live. One of my favorite scriptures in the book of Psalm 82 and verse 5. He said, they know not, neither do they understand. They walk all in darkness. All the foundations of the earth, they are out of course. He said, I have said you are God, all of you who are the children of God, but because you don't know, you shall die like mere men. You shall die, fall down like one of the princes. Why? Because you do not know. Hosea 4.6 says, my people are destroyed for the lack of knowledge. Hear me. Ignorance is more powerful than the devil. Look, ignorance is more powerful than Satan himself. He said, they know not, neither do they understand. Because of that lack of knowledge, they have gone into captivity. He said in Isaiah 5.13, my people are gone into captivity. Why? Because they lack knowledge. Because they lack knowledge. What you don't know can kill you. What you don't know can kill you. You may think you are drinking water because you don't know, and yet you are drinking acid. Because it looks like it's colorless like water. What you don't know can kill you. They went into captivity because they lack knowledge. But I love what God says in Proverbs 11 and verse 19. He says, by knowledge shall the just be delivered. Did you hear that? He said, by knowledge shall the just be delivered. He didn't say by knowledge shall the sinner be delivered. This is the reason why even some Christians are experiencing things that are not supposed to happen to them. When you don't understand what it means to be born again, what it means to be a Christian, Satan can take advantage of you. When he came to Jesus tempting him, he said, turn if you are the son of God, turn these stones into bread. It was some few days before then that God said, this is my beloved son. But Jesus understood any word from the devil is about to destroy you. There are people who are destroyed because they read scriptures in the Bible without understanding. And they do dangerous things. Jesus said, ah, men shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that comes out of the mouth of God. He was quoting Deuteronomy. Hear this. Satan saw that, oh, the man is quoting the Bible. I will give him Bible. He quoted him Psalm chapter number 91. He said, the Bible says when you throw in, uh, God will give his angels charge over you. So throw yourself from this high building. Any scripture quoted by the devil, if the believer does not understand it, it can destroy them. Hear this. Jesus did not dispute that it was from the Bible. But Jesus said, you shall not tempt the Lord your God. Amen. You see, Satan was quoting the Bible. Shouldn't Jesus have followed because that was Bible? It is understanding now that makes a difference among believers. Understanding makes a difference among believers. When Jesus appeared on earth, there is something called the law of first mentions. When Jesus appeared, the first words he said in Matthew chapter number 4 and verse 17, he said, from that time the Bible says, Jesus began to preach and he said, repent for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. The word repent does not mean confess your sins. The word repent simply means change your mind. We hope you have been inspired by this clip. To order the rest of the sermon, please call plus 267-7550-3975. And also feel free to join us for our worship services every Sundays at 8.30 a.m. and Wednesdays at 5.30 p.m. at Block 8 Industrial, plot number 61053, besides Bob's. Please visit our website at www.royalassembly.co.bw to share your testimony. Stay blessed. Peace.